AQA A-level physics. This is my fifth electricity video and this is about the potential divider. Very important you understand this. Potential dividers. This is what the specification says which is not very much but let's move on. So what will the voltage across each of these resistors be? Well one thing that we know is that it has to add up to six volts but very simply which resistor will get more voltage uh, how much voltage will that 300 get will it get more or less than 150 well there's two ways of working out the voltage uh, which one you use is entirely up to you uh, I'll show you both ways now the first way um, work out the total resistance in this case it's 450 because you just add them together so now we know the total resistance we work out the current so the current in the circuit is going to be 13.3 milliamps so now we know the resistance and the current through each resistor we can just do V equals IR so if we do V equals IR for the first resistor we get 2 volts and you can do it for the second one or you can say well it's 6 minus 2 which is 4 volts because the total has to be 6 so basically here 2 volts and 4 volts so basically total resistance work out the current then V equals IR now the other way of doing it which is usually how I do it is you do it by ratios the ratios of the voltages will be the same as the ratio of the resistances. So basically looking at it, the, the 300 ohm resistor will get twice as much as the 150 ohm. Um, so the 300 ohm will get 4 volts, the 150 will get uh, one third, so it will get 2 volts. Okay, And then mathematically that's how I would write it down. So there's a couple of ways of working it out, entirely up to you, depends on the information that you're given. So you work them out then. Work out the voltage across each resistor any way you like, and I'll show you the answer in a couple of seconds. And there you go. So that's the voltage across each resistor. Now, this type of circuit is called a potential divider. Uh, another name for voltage is potential difference. And what's happening is that this potential difference is being shared, it's being divvied up, it's been divided between the, dif the different parts of the circuit. Okay, so it's dividing the potential difference, it's a potential divider. Now, what will happen to the voltmeter reading if we make the resistance of the variable resistor smaller. So you should recognize this symbol here. This is a variable resistor. Um, and the variable resistor and the fixed resistor are sharing the voltage. If we make the resistance of the variable resistor smaller, it will get a smaller share. Therefore, the fixed resistor will get a bigger share. Therefore, the voltmeter reading will go up. Okay, the voltmeter reading will increase as the fixed resistor will get a bigger share of the voltage. A potentiometer, what's a potentiometer? potentiometer? Well, anybody who plays a guitar knows what it is. We call them pots. And the volume knob or the tone knob on your guitar, on your amplifier, on your Marshall stack, there's loads of knobs on there, some of which go to 11. Uh, and they're all potentiometers and it's a type of variable resistor um, you should recognize it it's got three connections and basically what you, what happens is that you put a voltage across the two connections the two outside connections and then there is a sliding contact now you can have a, a rotary potentiometer which is the diagram in the middle or a linear potentiometer on the right and basically, as that arrow slides from left to right, R1 gets bigger, R2 gets smaller. So 
if you want the voltage to get bigger, you'd be looking at the voltage across R1. So it's a way of providing a variable voltage, not just using a rheostat, we're using it as a potentiometer. A potentiometer's actually got three connections. Now look at this component. Uh, we have a thermistor in a potential divider. So a thermistor with a fixed resistor and we usually put the voltmeter across the fixed resistor. The voltmeter reading is six volts at room temperature. Describe and explain what will happen to the voltmeter reading if we put the thermistor in hot water. Well, put the thermistor in hot water, what will happen to its resistance? It will get smaller. So the thermistor gets a smaller share of the voltage, the resistor gets a bigger share, the voltmeter reading goes up. Oh, hang on. You put it in hot water, the voltmeter reading goes up. What have we got? We've got a temperature sensor. Okay, we've got a voltage out which gets bigger when it gets hotter. It's a temperature sensor. Okay, the other component you should know from GCSE is an LDR. And it's a very, very similar principle. You've got the LDR in series with a fixed resistor. In this case, what's going to happen if we shine light on the LDR? You should remember what will happen to the resistance of the LDR. So what will happen to the voltage across the fixed resistor? What will happen to the voltage output? Here's a question for you to have a go at. OK, read the question, have a go. And I'll show you the answer in a couple of seconds. There you go.